obviously a big adjustment there in the last six months, but I don't have to tell anyone about that. I mean, everybody's gone through that. And lucky and blessed to be back here on the farm with my teammates. And I've been here for a couple weeks now and the workouts are going great. Uh, everybody's back on campus now and most, most guys are starting to get back into workouts. And um, I mean, on campus, there's definitely a different, different feel to it as well at this point, but uh, it's been pretty good. In terms of the last six months, it uh, you know started with the end of the season and not having any postseason uh, due to COVID. And, uh, and then we sent the guys home and it was, it was really hard for a long period of time not to be able to see them and also not to provide answers. And I think what I found as much as anything is the team is extremely resilient. Uh, and through this, I think we've really found, I think the team is very, very close. Um, at no time did anybody waver in terms of how excited they were to get back and wanting to get back. Uh, but at the same time too, everybody took everything in stride and that part has been fun to see. Going into my senior year, same time, can't believe that three years have gone by this fast. You know, the way I'm approaching things this year, I feel like it's, I feel a little different. I feel like more professional, you know, you know what to expect, you know, kind of to get your routine straight. And the goals with this team obviously are huge. We have a really talented team coming back. I saw, I saw a few of them work out and they all look really good. So I'm excited. And the standard for this team is definitely set high. Um, I mean, we're talking about Pac-12 championship, NCAA tournament, all that. And uh, I don't think it's, you know, a reach to, to go for that. Actually, the other night I came back and, and shot at night and just like turned the music up very loud and just like I was just so happy because like that was that's literally my happy place right there. I was on the court by myself, uh, just getting shots up and having having a really great time. And um, I mean the setup that they have is really cool. They got the they got a few baskets out here on the tennis court and got music going while you work out and all that. So it's pretty fun. I think there absolutely are silver linings. Before the team came back, actually had a monologue where I was telling them about appreciation and how important that is uh, for all of us every day. And going into the season, I actually think that um, many of our guys have just been nonstop basketball for years and years and years, and they've never really had a break. And so for them to be able to come into the season with a little bit of time away, I think they're fresh and they're excited. And we can use that to our advantage as we go forward now as well. Stanford has been a, a leader um, in terms of testing, in terms of um, putting protocols in place. Uh, I think our team feels very safe. I personally feel very safe for myself, for my family. I have my, my badge here saying I'm okay to be on campus. I have my, my uh, mask here and nobody's near me right now, so I don't have that on. With the team, we're, we're all keeping six feet apart. Um, we have uh, you know the, the correct number of households uh, sharing equipment or not sharing equipment. And then maybe even more importantly, really stressing to the guys when they're not here, they're, when they're not with us, they're making good decisions and do all, all the things they're supposed to be doing away from uh, the court as well and when they're back in the dorms. This is just seeing you know, how, how much turmoil is going on everywhere in the world, uh, whether that be COVID or like civil rights or climate change, all that, th all that stuff. Um, I think that, you know, I've kind of realized that, that life is pretty good for the most of us and kind of come to appreciate that more. Honestly, I think like the spreading positivity, reaching out to people, kind of you know, trying, trying to connect people and get, get time with, with everybody on the team. Uh, that's probably the biggest part for me and it helps obviously like having gone through three seasons and kind of seeing ups and downs and things that worked out things that didn't work out with that in the back of my mind you know i'm just trying trying to be the best captain that i can out there the reality is we have a real challenge to prepare for the season uh, the number one um, topic is is health and i would say physical health to be able to get on the court uh, and do so without injury and then uh, mental health you know to be able to transition from everything we've gone through and then prepare for the season i've continued to learn i think grow uh, as a person and as a coach uh, i think seeing the guys in person magnified the idea that uh, the relationships um, are what it's about and maybe the time away uh, magnified that as well, you know, in, in a tough way. That Zoom calls really don't make up for personal interaction. Phone calls don't make up for a personal conversation. And so the idea when the guys got back, just the, the energy that I felt, the excitement that I felt that I could spend time with them and work together uh, on a personal level uh, really energized me and I think gets back to the point of showing how much relationships mean and it's really what we think our program is built upon.